hello guys uh, welcome to do it is guide tutorial uh, today I am going to discuss with you about uh, how to create an animated gif uh, from a video in uh, photoshop cs6 uh, something like this uh, you can see this kind of gif animations now uh, has become more popular like this similar kind of uh, GIF animations. So let's see how to turn a small video clips uh, into a GIF animated GIF file uh, using Photoshop. All right. So now the first thing is you will have to have a, a video clip create a GIF file. Okay. In my case, uh, I am using this uh, this clip. This uh, I gave up everyone, and in return, I got three years in some hell film is uh, Wolf of uh, Wall Street and uh, I'm going to use this uh, uh, to cut it okay now uh, you may be wondering how to uh, cut a small part from this uh, whole movie okay now for that I have a uh, few suggestions now if you are uh, familiar with video editing uh, you may already know how to uh, cut a small uh, part from a video if you have like after effect or premiere pro you can do it easily but if you don't have those softwares i have this uh, free software called format factory which is from uh, you can download it free from www.pcfreetime.com uh, website uh, if you go to that site you can download the software for your window operating systems if you are on Mac, probably you can use a QuickTime player to cut a video. Okay, so let me show you how to cut a small video part from a whole movie. Okay, so once I open Format Factory, here I am gonna select. I should select Output Format. So in this, in my case, I am going to create a, a MP4 file. So I am gonna use select this option, and then I need to add file. I can drag and drop. Uh, the full video file so this is a movie file you can see it's 2 hour 59 minutes long okay now first I'm going to output setting output settings I'm going to set high quality and size that's fine because I can reduce the file size later uh, so I'm gonna press ok and on the option window here now if I play this one now this is the whole whole movie I can just jump to the point where that I want to uh, let me go to that part Uh, okay, for that part is uh, close to after this scene. Uh, so, at the start point, you need to click start time and end time. Okay. So, I am waiting till that clip. Mm. Alright, here and end time would be okay i'm uh, i'm gonna cut to up to that point i set st start time and end time and then i'm gonna press ok and uh, then uh, this video is gonna output to hff output folder that's fine so i'm gonna press ok and then I'm going to press start so it's converting so it's in uh, FF output uh, this one I created earlier and this is the clip I just created uh, let me play it and uh, I gave up everyone 
and in return I got three years in some hell. Alright, cool. So here I have this clip uh, which is 4.69 MB in file size and I'm going to use this video clip and uh, I'm gonna convert it to a GIF file. I gave up everyone and in return I got three alright so uh, okay I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna open Photoshop Photoshop CS6 and if you have noticed I am on Windows 8 uh, first thing is if you can't see this timeline panel go to Windows and uh, select timeline so then this timeline panel will come and then let's import video uh, into the Photoshop so you go to file import video frames to layers video frames to layers and then uh, you need to select the video file and press open okay now this window is important now you have two options to select from here uh, first one is from beginning to end means you are going to import whole video clip or you can select selected range range only so now if I you can play and preview the video clip here I gave up everyone and in return I got three years in some hellhole in Nevada I'd never even heard okay so now this is too long because uh, normally GIF file I believe should be uh, less than three seconds otherwise it's otherwise it's gonna take much time to load okay I'm thinking to cut from here and I gave up everyone one, and in two, return I got three, three years in some hellhole in Nevada I never Uh, gave up everyone oh maybe I gave up everyone or oh, maybe uh, maybe this is a good starting point from here one and in return I got three years in some hellhole in Nevada I'd never even heard of right. from here to here so selected range only and here you have another option um, limit to every and you can specify a frames number of frames okay now normally this video file uh, it has high frame rate so means uh, if you use exact frame rate uh, you're gonna end up with bigger GIF file in uh, the file size may be higher okay, so I can reduce I can reduce frames okay now I am gonna put it three uh, so limit to every three frames so it's gonna remove some frames uh, from the original movie and import it to Photoshop okay and uh, here uh, you need to tick this make frame animation tick mark okay so then I'm gonna press ok and then it's gonna import uh, video file now the video file has imported this play button you can click and view the animation right uh, let me show you other features that uh, you can see here okay. now you need to set here this is the looping option so the GIF file, it's a GIF file, so it should be uh, animated forever, like repeating always. Okay, so it should be forever. And uh, then here you can see, uh, you can see the uh, layers. So the good practice is to save your file. So first, I am going to save my. I am going to save this as. Uh, movie gif dot photoshop file let me show you if you want to add a text uh, on top of this animation let me show you how to do that okay okay first thing is 
now you have to come to the very first frame so if you are uh, if you own uh, frame like this just click this uh, jump to at very first frame then uh, take text tool and now you can type anything more feel like king you can uh, add uh, whatever text but uh, this is up to you uh, this is up to you actually uh, if you if you don't want to add text that's fine uh, if you can't see the character panel just go to windows character then character panel will come uh, and uh, another thing is uh, you have to take this text layer into the very top of the layer panel otherwise uh, at some point it's gonna uh, it's gonna hide so that's why you have to take it up and uh, let me add some drop shadow a small drop shadow uh, white color is fine all right so I'm gonna save my file again okay now let's see how to export this file this as an animated GIF file okay so for that you go to file save for web file save for web okay okay so now here it's showing the f uh, the original file and the optimized file from here now you can see uh, this is the original image size of a video file okay actually this size is much much higher to be a GIF file okay so on the so my output file I'm gonna make it like 600 pixels so height would be 250 so first set your desired uh, width and height for your GIF file okay and uh, then uh, here the looping option should be forever uh, if it's uh, if it's in different in your version and uh, here from here you can play the animation and preview it okay and and actually at first here it should be selected as gif not jpg or not png but gif because the gif is the animated version of uh, of an image okay so uh, it should be selected as gif and then you need to set your size uh, here you can see this this will be the uh, output file size of the exported gif file 5.6 mp actually that is too much so i'm gonna make my image much much smaller let's see how much size okay now it's 3.3 fair enough but see uh, if i can make it much much smaller okay on this color panel you can select now uh, video file has 256 colors if you can reduce number of colors the file size gonna be less so i'm gonna make 128 all right see now that my file size become 2.8 okay and uh, but still video file looks okay uh, there's no higher damage to the video clip now let me if i select like eight colors see the see the difference that video file getting now it's it's become black and white okay so i'm going to keep the 128 colors another thing you can do is you can uh, put increase this lossy option maybe up to 30 now you see the file size become much lower 1.59 maybe you can make it uh, much higher but then you can see uh, the dot on the video clip which is not good so I'm gonna reduce down into let's say 39 yeah 39 all right so and the another thing is next thing is we don't need transparency so you can remove the transparency option all right here we go okay 
so now I can export I can save my GIF file okay I'm gonna click save and save in on my same folder uh, and uh, you can give a name and format image only and settings default setting okay that's fine save all right so let's see our gif file here okay so here's our uh, created gif file uh, using our video clip you can see file size is 1.34 uh, let me show you uh, okay so if you open your browser and if you drag and drop your gif file onto the browser you can preview your gif file see uh, so this is so this is uh, this is how you create uh, a gif file uh, from a video clip so hope you enjoyed your uh, this tutorial so then uh, if you like you can upload this give file to the internet and uh, use it on a forum uh, add it to the other websites upload to the other websites sort of things okay all right so uh, i'm gonna stop from here thank you very much for watching my tutorial